And now let's talk about split. So split is used whenever you want to uh, divide your string into substrings based on a separator you pass into the split method and a split method will return those substring ordered inside an array then returns the array so it doesn't modify the original string let's see the syntax here so you can call split on your string without any parameters let's see what's going to happen in that case let's see some examples so i have here a string and then if i call string dot split method and assign this to array zero a const because split will return an array without modifying the original string so here because we don't have any separator uh, no split will happen because we didn't pass nothing to our uh, method split so no split will happen here so it's just going to return an array and then inside one element one single element which is our original string now if you pass in a first parameter that's going to be the separator and that's where your split method will divide your string so if i go and pass in a space as the separator so on each space here that's where the splits will happen so i'm going to get an array so i'm going to get the first word here the then the split will happen on the space then i'm going to get morning and then is because i have here this a space then open and then as and you can see here we don't have this space anymore so take in mind that the space or the separator in general is not included in your substrings now i'm gonna go and use an empty string so when you use an empty string empty strings are everywhere so you're just going to get all the characters separated inside an array. Now, if I go and call a split with open example as the separator, so I'm going to split my uh, string here on O's. So the first string or the first substring will be this uh, section here. So the M and then the second one will be this on in is up. And then the last one is going to be N as now you can see again that o is not included in the substrings because the separator is not included and now let's talk about the second parameter which is limit so limit here uh, means that you want to limit your number of splits to a given number so for example if i call split with o as the separator and then the number of limits two so this will return just two or the first two splits and now if I call it with zero as the limit, this will return an empty string. And that's almost everything about the method split. Now let's move on to the next method.